Hi guys, this is Patrick for Screen Studio and today we're going to talk about OpenShot video editor that you can find in the uh, software, uh, how is it called again? The Ubuntu Software Center, there we go. So simply look for OpenShot in the search uh, of the software center and uh, install it as usual. It's quite easy actually. Uh, once uh, it will be installed, then the icon here will show up in your taskbar, or you can still look for it in the uh, search menu here. Um, OpenShot is an amazing software. Uh, we all know that uh, Max user have iMovie as their flagship for video editing uh, for... Uh, for regular users, of course, we're not talking about professional stuff, but uh, I would say that for Ubuntu, OpenShot is the iMovie of uh, the Linux community. It works really great, it's simple, it looks nice, uh, it's really fun actually to work with. Okay, so I opened uh, OpenShot, as you can see, and now we need to create a new project. Let's start with a project called Screen Studio. There we go. And then I need to select where it will be save. Uh, the, the, the save to here. And then the format of the video. So you see that you have a lot of options in here. Uh, let's pick HD 720p 25 FPS just for the kick of it. And then save the project. Uh, yeah, there's already a project named that. Yes, I want to overwrite. So there we go. The project has been created. And now all you need to do is add the video, audio, and stuff like that. So let's start by adding a few, a small video I did earlier just as a bench test. And let's pick that one. There we go. So it's showing here in my library. And now add some music uh, that we'll use. Uh, I think it's my download folder. Okay, let's take that and this one. Let's click add. And now they, they, are, they are available from uh, my local library in OpenShot. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So uh, let's say I want to have also a title. So you go in the top menu here, click title and create a new title. And you have uh, uh, many options, many themes that you can use. Uh, let's pick one, header two. No, that's a little bit simple. Header one, no, uh, ribbon. Oh, okay, let's pick that one create a new title and call that screen studio there we go and then I need to put a title and a subtitle screen studio and um, let's name that general oh oops overview Should be good enough. So that's my uh, uh, my title I want to show. So click apply, and it will be saved here. And then I'm ready to start building something. So let's start with the video, and let's put that at the bottom, which is what I ha want to have in the background. So uh, whatever you want to what you want to add over you m must be at the top and then uh, let's set the title here and I'm gonna put it here like that and then uh, if I play the video as a preview we'll see that I have the overlay here and the video in the background and I can do all kind of stuff with that but I want to have some music also. So let's add a new track. There we go. And we'll use, uh, let's pick that one. It's a short one. 
there we go now we have the audio and uh, since it's only music I will hide the video part and let's click play and there we go my laptop is a little bit slow to do that kind of stuff so I won't stress it out too much but uh, you get the idea that you can do some compositing really it's really fast actually to do your stuff and then let's say I want to have a fade out on my video just click fade out fast and I click duplicate and that just add it here and let's say that for my title uh, I want it to fade it fade out fast and that's the kind of thing you can do uh, let's say that I want to cut is it that one I think so let's move that here and then let's say that I want to split that video in two there we go and I want to have a transition uh, okay let's move here and I want to have a transition I think it's this oh transition is between videos okay I'm between tracks so I'm gonna move it up like that and select the transition like that so and if I start playing it then I click play oh laptop is having a hard time right now so you get the idea that it's quite simple to create a video with OpenShot it's really easy it's nice of course uh, if you want to do uh, really large projects I would recommend to have a lot of memory available in a fast computer but anyway even though that laptop is not really fast I'm able still to manage to to do some stuff and um, also, we have to uh, rem uh, to remember that I'm currently recording this software, OpenShot. It's really, really good and really fast. And once um, you're done with your video editing and doing whatever you want, um, you just click here, the render button, which looks like a record button. Anyway, and uh, you just transcode it into the favorite for video format you want but just before that so this is your project files this is the kind of transition you can apply you can't you have all kind of stuff in there and also you have effects for video and audio so those are for video and those for are for the audio when you want to change some some stuff in your video and create the perfect movie for your YouTube channel for example and uh, as I said a bit earlier you when you're ready you just click that button here and then it will ask you to export your video so you have a choice between a simple setting and an advanced setting so let's keep it simple I want to <clears throat> export to YouTube HD with the video profile HD 720p 25 frames per second with maximum quality and then click export and the video will be uh, exported in the uh, video folder as I've set here I won't start process because uh, it really takes a lot of processing power and I think my laptop won't support it uh, if you want to read more about OpenShot, I'm going to click cancel. If you want to read more about OpenShot, you can go to their website here at www.openshot.org. And uh, this video was recorded live with Screen Studio that you can get at screenstudio.crumbs.com. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And See you in a time. Bye.